Hey guys, what's up? My name is Manny Tree and this is Recreational 420 and today's gonna be our third installment of our social media for the cannabis industry series and we're gonna be focusing on the YouTube platform. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, guys, so the first thing I wanna talk about is why you need to be on this platform. Uh, I know that a lot of people kind of feel like it's overwhelming, like there's too many moving parts for you in, on YouTube to really grow or do anything unless you're somebody who's gonna be doing incredibly viral content. Um, and I'm just here to tell you that, that that's the furthest thing from the truth. Um, the way that YouTube is set up, it is owned by Google. So that means that you're playing on the second biggest search engine owned by the first now if you don't understand why that's important to be on both of those platforms then I'm gonna go ahead and break that down a little bit later but right now the other thing you have to keep in mind is just generally when people look for things if whether it's a review a how-to video or anything like that where they want something explained to them the vast majority of people nowadays are going to YouTube because it's easier to understand something when somebody's explaining it to you on camera using their voice and you can see the emotion you can see the expressions you can see more than just more than just the words on a page. Um, words on a page are handy and you can get really descriptive, but it's very different to have somebody emo like telling you something and you get to see and sense the emotion behind their words. Um, at least for me personally, that's one of the biggest reasons why I go that route instead of going, you know, and doing anything and Googling most of the things. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I went on Google uh, first for a strain review. I always hit YouTube first um, just because I'm like, hey, it's probably already there. And then if it's not, then I'll hit Google and then I'll see and, you know, kind of go from there. Or if the information on YouTube doesn't quite do it for me, then I'll head to, you, to Google. Um, but essentially, I, I always search YouTube first if it's something that I need described to me. And I feel like the vast majority of people are starting to kind of get that way um, themselves. So now let's go back to why um, Google owning YouTube is very important. So if you are a business owner in today's day and age, I'm pretty sure you've heard the people tell you that you need to be on Google, but you don't only need to be on Google, you need to be on the first page of Google. You need to rank in Google. Um, and in order to do that, they have so many ways. <laughs> there's a million and one different ways. There's hacks, there's tricks. You can do backlinks. You can create you know, a website that's designed to just get you to the front of the page. You, you can um, do a million different things. And one of the easiest, in my opinion, is going to be getting on YouTube and really honing in and kind of being a tactician and deciding, okay, I really want to make sure that this is what people see when they search, you know, when they search this, I want them to find me. Uh, for me, that phrase that I wanted to really lock in and make sure that I, I basically saturated the market on that phrase before I, you know, I, I really let anybody in on what I was doing uh, was the keyword recreational cannabis reviews. Um, when, I, when I first started, I took my time and I really sat down and I said, okay, 10 years from now when cannabis is legal and um, you know and 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 it's something that the everyday person is using uh, what's the one keyword that I think might be the thing that they're gonna look for if they're just looking for generic information obviously if they're looking for a specific brand they're gonna Google that brand but I was like okay I, I'm trying to just do these reviews so I said okay I'm gonna do the, the, the keywords recreational cannabis reviews and so over the last year and a half I've really just dug in deep as far as I could and I've just really grinded out um, myself in those keywords. Now, if you Google the words recreational cannabis reviews, and I encourage you guys to do this, um, just so that you see that like I'm not lying to you and that this is real, like <laughs> this is kind of how it works. Um, so Google and YouTube talk to each other because they are related in a sense. Um, the way that I'll explain it to you is Google is essentially this brain, right? This brain and everybody's trying to get the attention of this brain and say, hey, I'm right here. Hey, I'm over here. Hey, let my people know I'm here. Hey, bro, I'm over here. So all these links are really trying to just get the attention of this brain um, at all times. And this information just constantly, constantly goes and it doesn't really stop. Um, so there's by going and putting your content on the platform that's owned by the people who are putting on 
the search or putting out the results for the search engine, you kind of give yourself a leg up on everybody else who doesn't, and here's why. So, and the way I like to explain it is think of Google as a person inside of a burning building. Right, you have uh, your inside. Google is this thing. This building is burning, and there's two people. Everything is equal. The only difference between the two people is that one's a relative and one's not. Which one are you gonna save, or which one is? I, I, or let me put it to you this way: Which one's gonna get your attention first? So even if you can save both of them, the first one you're gonna go to is gonna be the one you're related to, and that's just kind of the way it works online. It's not supposed to work that way, um, but I've kind of proved over the last year that it, that it kind of is <laughs> um, just by doing that. Like I said, so the one thing I want you guys to do is go Google recreational cannabis reviews, um, and there's gonna be two things that happen. Number one is if you go over to the videos tab, you're gonna see a very familiar face that kind of floods that entire page that's not an accident that took me a very long time to do um, and it's it's something that I'm still working on you see other people there by the time this year's over I want to make sure that if you go into that tab I take that entire page up because I've honed in on that second keyword. thing that you might notice is that on the first page of the results from Google um, my edibles playlist is going to be the second to fifth result depending on who and where you are um, I also may not not pop up at all on that one um, it just really depends uh, sometimes when I google that on my own it, I do pop up other times I don't and I'm still trying to figure out why um, the other thing that I did do in order to really make sure that I locked in that keyword as much as possible is I bought the website um, recreationalcannabisreviews.com and so that's my what I consider my ace and in, in, in my of my sleeve because over the next year uh, I'm gonna really take my time to develop the website so that basically when you type that in the website pops up first then the content within the website pops up second and then kind of floods that front page so everything and so as I'm telling you guys this it, you you can see it's taken me about a year to get to where I am now and like I said feel free to go check to see where I'm at um, and then it's gonna take me about another year to get really where I feel like I wanna be. Um, and here's the thing, I'm doing this in an industry where <laughs> people aren't looking for this yet. If you want data on people looking rec up recreational cannabis reviews, it really doesn't exist yet because there's not a lot of people looking for it. This is, this is literally just me saying, okay, this is what I wanna be known for. Um, I wanna make sure that when people think recreational 420, the first thing that pops into their head is recreational cannabis reviews and vice versa. So <clears throat> this is where we're at. That's what I'm doing. And that's kind of what you kind of have to do. Um, this is why I say you have to have a strategy. You can't just post up, oh, check out our grow today or oh, check out what we're doing today. Like you have to have a strategy because um, everything now with the amount of just information that's coming out, you you don't want to be one of those people that's just throwing and excuse my language, but throwing shit at the wall and hoping that it sticks because it's just not going to. Um, there's just so much stuff and, and here's the thing this this didn't take me a long time to learn but it does take a long time to learn if you're running a business um, so there's things that matter um, the length of your videos uh, whether they're too long or too short depends on you know whether they do 50% better than the rest of the stuff um, how your thumbnails look that hat factors in there's uh, all sorts of different little things that that kind of go into how you rank um, but let me explain it to you this way right now uh, a lot of the people when they find me or most people when they find me they're looking for you they're looking for you the brand um, and they end up finding me the reviewer <laughs> because of the way that I tag my stuff um, and, and if you want to check that go ahead go to YouTube right now type in your brand and if you've seen me do a review of your product I can almost guarantee that I'm gonna be the first one or one of the top people um, when somebody searches your brand and so that right there is the other thing I wanted to make sure that the way that I tag my products and the way that I I wanted to make sure that if you googled the product or you googled recreational cannabis reviews I was gonna pop up <laughs> on either platform and I'm slowly starting to figure out how to make them hop over to the other one um, but <clears throat> again so this is just it's just something that you really YouTube is something you have to approach with a purpose and really go in there knowing what you want to do um, think about the outcome think about the message you want to put out and then really just dedicate 
uh, some time to doing that so it's not expensive to put it to you this way everything that I've done every all the growth that has happened for me over the last year um, if you're not and if, if I'm not being paid for the time <laughs> that it's taken uh, I've really only put in dollar wise maybe in the realm of like five to eight hundred dollars um, total and that that's not counting you know that's not going into SEO or anything like that what that's going into is the website that I paid for a year for um, and, and services and other things like that so it's just when it comes to YouTube it's really something that you you really just have to create a concept create a small show that you can kind of put together um, to create that consistency and then through that consistency over time you're going to start slowly growing it, 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 it's, it's a lot of moving pieces and i know this might be a little bit confusing um, this isn't going to have obviously all the keys to all the success that you can have because i don't honestly number one is i don't know them all um, again i'm not an expert i'm just a guy trying to figure it out and i've gotten this far doing it my way um, and so i'm just kind of showing you guys uh, at this point i'm going to continue to do things this way on this platform it's working out well for me um, I've learned a couple new things along the way so some of the content that I'm creating now um, I'm basically when I create content I create content for a purpose I create content so that um, you know how long it is I, I, I think about how long it's gonna be what it is um, who might you know, look it up how they're gonna look it up I really focus on the person who's gonna be watching um, more than I focus on myself and what I'm going to be doing because I know at the end of the day how someone finds you is more important than just throwing up the video um, so all right guys so I really could go on forever when it comes to this topic in all honesty I could make this video about three to five hours if I really focused and really wanted to just give you everything that I kind of knew um, but that's gonna be a really long boring video and in all honesty with what the, with the information I've given you so far you should be able to take that and kind of create a concept or an idea for yourself and um, if you can't or if you want a little bit of extra help I am offering a free 15-minute consultation you can hit the link down in the description and it's gonna take you to my little like contact information um, send me an email let me know a little bit about who you are and then we'll just kind of talk about some of the challenges you've had and then see if there's some things that um, I might be able to do to help you um, in creating a strategy just to kind of like get that going so uh, with that this has been recreational 420 I'll be back again with you guys soon